see everybody this out. Got a few announcements. Uh, please continue to keep Ms. Vera Spencer in our prayers. Uh, she had an MRI on Wednesday last week. She has an infection in her lower back. Uh, needs more tests. Continue to keep her in our prayers. Uh, Ms. Velma Bicker also, Ms. Uh, Velma had a lower part of one of her legs removed uh, last week due to an infection. She's doing well. Uh, talk to William. He said that she is doing well. Daryl got a chance to talk to him. Continue to uh, keep Jimmy Barr in your prayers with his health issues also. Uh, he does have kidney stones and um, in a little discomfort with that. Uh, Carolyn Lloyd's grandson, let's continue to remember that family in our prayers. Zach Shears, uh, with the situation he's in, being on life support, let's continue definitely to keep that family in our prayers. Um, I need some help tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. Tomorrow morning to help hand out water here at the church building. We'll be doing the water giveaway from 10 to 2 while supplies last. And there's a good bit of water out there in the foyer, so uh, Derek needs some help getting the water loaded up in cars if you're off and available tomorrow, 10 to 2. Meet here at 9.30. Teen Youth Retreat, coming up pretty quick. Uh, they want to meet down front. Anyone that's going, I'm assuming Derek, and then involved with that, it says meet down front. Uh, 9 to uh, 11 at Sardis Lake, uh, nine, September 9th to 11th at Sardis Lake Christian Camp, $25 per person. So let's remember to meet down front after that. Standing in the Gap, September 12th at 6.30 p.m., uh, Women of the Word, September 19th at 6.30 p.m. So mark these on your calendar. Standing in the Gap, the 12th, and Women of the Word, the 19th. Uh, mark your calendars for Connect Congregational Day Retreat here at the church building, September 24th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Lunch will be provided. Try to sign up if you can and let us know if you're coming so we can make sure we have enough food for that. I have to mark these in my phone so that I'm, I can keep up with these dates. So make sure you're writing these dates down. Uh, we're still having a going away party on the 25th for Logan and Kelly. So let's remember to try to be at that after evening services. Ladies Bible class has started again and we'll be meeting Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. If you plan to attend Bible class, see Hannah Broom to get your class book. All right, I believe that's all the announcements. Let's start our devotion with a prayer. Lord, we're so grateful for this day and for the time that we have to spend together here this evening. We're grateful for each member that's out with us this evening. We're grateful for the time that we had to spend in our classes and those that prepared lessons for us tonight, Lord, that it was presented in a way that we can use it in our daily lives and show others that we're living for you each day. We're grateful for the church worldwide. We're grateful for the church here at Sidewell Road and what it means to each one of us. We're grateful for the efforts that take place in this place here, and we're thankful for those that help out with the different things that are going on here. We're grateful for the, uh, the water situation that we're able to pass out and help the community that we're working with here, Lord. We ask that you be with those that had issues with homes flooded, that we can try to reach out to them as well, and we ask that you be with those that help with these efforts. We ask that you continue to be with the Rushmores, and it's good to have them here with us tonight, and the work that they're doing, and the others that we try to help support, Lord, that more souls will be brought to you through these efforts. We ask that you continue to be with those who are sick, Miss Vera Spencer, Miss Velma Bicker, Jimmy Barr, and others that are sick that we may not know about. We ask that you continue to be with those that are recovering as well. Continue to be with Zach Shears and that family and the situation that he's in we know that you are the great healer and we ask that your will be done in this situation with that family continue to be with anyone that has lost loved ones recently let us reach out to them let us let us let them know that we love them and we care for them continue to be with us this evening through our devotion as we lift up our voices in song and we lift up our prayers to you lord we pray that your will be done in all these things and it is in jesus name i pray amen First song, 280.
or 280. When peace I go If you didn't get that, uh, Derek's like me, he's got a big voice, but uh, maybe you need the help with the microphone. Good evening. Good to see you. Hope you've had a good day today. Uh, it's a blessing always to be together. We just sang a song, it is well, my soul. The question is, how? How can it be well with your soul? If you look at the book of Romans, chapter 3, and I'm actually going to go back and forth between Romans 3 and Lamentations 3, uh, if you want to put a finger in both places. Romans chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. How can it be well with my soul? I come short of God's glory. I'm a sinner. I have been a sinner. I need a Savior. The explanation, in part, interestingly enough, is found as the children of Israel are being taken out of their land. The Book of Lamentations being written by uh, Jeremiah the prophet. In chapter 3, beginning of verse 22, he says, Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed. We deserve to be, I'll pause to say, our sins are worthy of death, Romans chapter 6, verse 23. But he goes on to say, because his compassions fail not, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope, look at it, in him. Our hope is not in ourselves. We are weak. We fail we fall short. Our hope is in God. Now, Paul goes on to explain that uh, in Romans chapter 3. When beginning in verse 24, he says, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption, watch it, that is in Christ Jesus. Paul's favorite expression. 
In all of his writings, that's his number one expression. About 156 times he says something about in Christ Jesus. And right here he says we have redemption in Christ Jesus. He goes on to say, whom God set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance, God passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Once we realize that Jesus is the Son of God, then we should come to understand that his blood was shed to set us free. That blood can be accessed in penitent baptism. That's what Peter said on the day of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2, verse 38. So you and I can truthfully say the Lord's compassions are new every morning if, if we yield to him, do his will, so that he can be gracious to us through the offering of his son, the blood that he shed. If you're ready to receive that wonderful compassion, why not come while we sing? pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for letting us come out here and study another portion of your word, Lord. Thank you for all the ones that have prepared lessons and all the ones that came out, Lord. And We ask you to be with the ones that couldn't come out tonight, Lord, and watch over them and help them to come back when, um, when they can, Lord. And we ask you to be with us the rest of this week, Lord, and Help us to be the proper examples we should be, Lord, and try to always be better people, Lord. Be with all the ones that are having surgeries, Lord, and watch over them, and um, be with the doctors and nurses tending to them, Lord. And We're so thankful for your son, Lord, and sending him down to be that perfect example for us, Lord, and <clears throat> help us to always strive to um, do the things he's 
um, showed us how to do, Lord. And we ask you to forgive us when we fail you and help us to have a safe trip home tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.